Okay, Eric, after looking for the books, after looking through uh, my old books here and uh, trying to find the book you ordered, I did find it. So, yay! I found it. And the book that he purchased is The Trail of the Lonesome Pine. And this is a book from 1908. It's not in the greatest condition, but all the pages are intact and it could still be a good read. What um, is nice about this book, where is it? It does have a pretty illustration here. So there's that. Um, or no, I'm sorry. It says 1911 there. But I think the first printing might have been 1908. Yeah, cop the copyright was from 1908 and they printed it in 1911. So over 100 years old. That's really cool. I love looking through old books. They don't sell a lot on eBay, but I do enjoy them. If I find them at a sale for maybe a buck uh, or two, um, I'll, I'll buy them and put them online. I'll look through them first and read a little bit, and then I'll put them on eBay. So Eric bought that and the two VHS tapes, and I'm going to get those sent out to you. I'm Janet Decay, the mummy. And I'm Grimgory, the monkey. And together we host... The, the Mummy and, and the Monkey's Hairy Scary Hangout! Friday nights on Facebook Live. Well, that was interesting. Oh, wow. All right, so today is uh, Friday, January 8th, 2021. And I'm getting my uh, orders put together. I showed you some stuff earlier. Here's some other uh, orders that came through. This purse is from the 70s and the brand is e Etienne Agne. I might be butchering that name completely. It looks like a French name. And uh, there's the logo there. This is considered ox blood red. It's that 70s dark red leather. If you go to any thrift store, there's usually a couple. Um, you'll find vintage leather jackets or vests or purses in this color. I picked this up at a thrift store for maybe a couple bucks. I had it put up um, on eBay for a long time and I lowered the price to $10 plus shipping. And that's what it sold for, $10 plus shipping. Moving forward, I probably wouldn't buy this again. If I picked it out of the trash for free, then I would put it online for maybe 10 bucks. But um, yeah, I, you learn as you go. Sometimes this brand can do well if, if it's like new with the tags. Um, there was one bag I sold for 50 um, but these, this is vintage, and uh, the resale value wasn't that great. So, 10 bucks plus shipping. Hey, it's a sale, right? Um, okay, and then some breakables are in here. If I could get this unwrapped, it's wrapped up like a little burrito. It's a little burrito. Oh, no. And who's in there? Who's in there? Who's this? This is Beatrix Potter. This is Tom Kitten. And it has the logo there. And this is by Beswick, made in England. Tom Kitten in the Rockery. This is from the late 90s. They had a whole series of little Beatrix Potter figures. Um, this guy sold for $34.99 plus shipping. And it's a consignment piece. And then another little guy. Another little breakable guy. He's also wrapped up like a little burrito. Come here, little guy. Okay, this little lover boy is a Hummel figure. He's got his Valentine um, box of chocolates there. He's got some wine or, or maybe juice. I don't know. <laughs> his sparkling grape juice. His little Lederhosen. He's a little German uh, Gobel Hummel figure. And he's from 1979, number 399. And um, what's the name of this one? He had a special name. But it's a, like it's a Valentine's one, and he sold for twenty five dollars and fifty cents plus shipping, and uh, yeah, he's cute. And then this one, this is from another Dolly lot from Mercari, and I really fixed her up. I took time on conditioning her hair, and I actually used scalding hot water to smooth out her hair. Um, so this is made by the Ideal Toy Company. This is a pepper doll. She's got the freckles. She's a fashion doll about nine inches tall. And she is Tammy's little sister. 
Ideal Toy Company in the 60s made a whole family of dolls, and it was Tammy and her family. And Tammy was the fashion doll trying to compete with Barbie. So she didn't have any clothes. Her hair was a mess. I cleaned her up. I found like a little swimsuit for her to wear, a little romper or whatever. And then um, I gave her this little teddy bear. So I, I had her picture just like that with the teddy bear. And she sold for $30 with shipping included. I would have priced her more for $50 or $60, but her hair in the back is kind of thin. And I think eventually she'll probably need to be rerouted. She will need all new hair. But I did smooth it out and make it look the best I could. And uh, any collector, I think, will still enjoy her. And maybe they could put a hat on her or something. That, that's what people are interested in. They want to know what you're thinking. Oh, yeah? They don't, you well, don't what want... are you thinking? I'm thinking we're on our way. I'm hungry, and it's what my stomach's thinking. And we're on our way to get some, uh, <laughs> some RBs. Some, uh, some uh, Arby's. Some Arby's. Yeah. Yeah, Good Arby's friend. sandwiches are very good. And they have the meats. They they got the meats. So we'd be getting the meats. I'm well, I, I don't eat red meat. So turkey and chicken, I eat a lot of. I devour Sorry, meat. turkeys and chickens. Wow. I, I used to be vegetarian for a long time, and uh past three, four years, I've... All right. We're yeah. coming up on the Arby's. You get a shot of that. Okay. I've been eating mostly turkey and chicken. Look at that. And they have some... Decent sandwiches for being fast food. No, no. There's nobody here. Is it open? Are they, are like, they open today? Are they like Chick fil A and closed on Sunday? Or are they open and it's just a, a slow day for them? And we're the only ones that know it's this is the best place to eat. Uh oh. I don't know. See, I told you to film this. Let's find out. <laughs> Hello. I smell it. I think they're open. All right. You're going to get the order there? Hi, um, can I get a, uh, you want the whole thing, the drink and the meal? Yeah. A number, is it number eight, the turkey and Swiss? Turkey and Swiss. Yeah. Yeah, regular size. Um, and can I have... A medium? A medium, yeah, that's good. And can I have... Um, drink? Uh, unsweetened, uh, iced unsweetened iced tea? Unsweetened iced tea. Yeah. And, uh, can, can I have that made with, uh, n with just mayo and no, uh, honey mustard, please? Yeah. Thank you. And then I also would like a, uh... Uh, number four, the gyro, and as a you know, as a meal, mediums find their coke. To All right. So what did you find? Well, I found a bunch of stuff. I'm going through it now. I did find some dolls for you. I'm not really sure if they're any good, but I just grab them when I see them, just in case. Her mm. eyes are really messed up. They need clean. That's why. Is that something that? Can it's be probably clean? dust or mold. I don't know, but uh, that's a walkie. Oh, creepy. Probably. Did we did someone send us one of those that, or give us one that was haunted or something? Remember? They had in their car for a long time. Um, yeah. Now these things are mine, so don't get too crazy. So, but this neck, what is this? Why does that look so nice and detailed and cool? Could be a souvenir. It's a little heavy. It's like a weighted. It's like a cute little Asian like she's souvenir the, doll. She's got the little fingers like, suck dog. You know. She's really cute. Yeah, for $1.99, you know, get it. Um, found some dinosaurs and things like that. I don't know if I'll get this. This is an alien figure. It's probably really not worth anything. But these things are weird because you know, it's hard to explain. I don't know if you want to move your car a little bit. This pours off things. This this is not obviously a real dinosaur, whatever this is. But these things are there are there are at least one I know of. It's not this one. They came in a set of like these make believe dinosaurs back in the 70s. That's worth a ton of money if you can find it. It's like so rare. And these are always good. You see anything from the Rankin Bass? Christmas stories. This is a uh, Tanta Kringle, and this, this could be 15 bucks, maybe 20 bucks. I don't know. Just alone. And I did find uh, this was really funny. So this is this was a show called My Soul Called Life with Jared Leto. I remember that remember show. Remember the show? Mm -hmm. Well, so what you do, you know, obviously you whip out your phone and go. And I know that's not a really common series, but you know, if it's here, you know, check out. So when I scan it in. Look at this. Someone's got one for three thousand dollars. What? Yeah, right. Okay, but some some people are selling them with. Um, well, this one's seventeen at the complete series DVD. So I don't know why someone thinks this is. Yeah. Three grand as opposed to, but. How much do they want? Seven for bucks. It? I might get it. I don't know. Just thinking about this now. Over to the DVDs. So this is a special edition Roswell uh, movie with uh, Kyle McLaughlin, right? Okay. And uh, when I put this one in, 
you know. I picked this up because I knew right away it was something kind of special. Uh, someone wants 119 for it, 29.99, 65. This is probably just show the titles and we could go over the good details one. later. Yeah. How about that? I found a bunch of British shows that are sealed, like Downton Abbey. I'm gonna look those up before I actually buy them. Ginger Snaps. Have you seen this movie? I've heard of it. It's I've awesome. not seen it. And, and it's rare to find any kind of horror movies. Indie I think, horror films in, in general. Yeah. But this is actually a really good movie. Um, and again, just more British BBC series. But I just cool. sold one recently, like 20 bucks for a set. But anyway. Um, yeah, so I found a Japanese ginger jar with the uh, original sticker. Mm -hmm. um, they want $4.99 for it. And it might be good. And then a couple bags and some leggings. That's all Isn't creepy. That Woo, it's creepy. All right, here we are. We, we checked out. We got some cool stuff. We're going to have to show you what we got in a little bit. And, uh, and, and interestingly enough, parked next to us is someone from the Albert Einstein Academy. And wow, what a genius. <laughs> Maybe parking isn't their strong suit, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, we're going to load the car up, uh, go back and show you our haul. Earl! Hi, Earl. Earl Pearl. Earl, do you approve of our thrift store purchases? Whoop, there's a naked lady on TV. There is? Well, not really, but... Oh, it's not showing anything. Yeah, she's in a bodysuit. Yeah. But she's all radioactive-y. The sounding she-creature. Is that what the movie is? I think so, yeah. Earl, do you, what do you have to say to the people on YouTube? Are you going to say hello, Earl? Okay. Say hello, I'm Earl. Say hi, Earl. Buy all this stuff, Earl? Uh, we have uh, some things from two different thrift stores. What do we do? So your stuff's in this bag here, correct? Yeah. All right, I'll shoot you. I mean, I'll film you. I'll shoot you. Uh, with your spoils, and then you can, you can do me. Okay. Okay. Let me pull up my pants. The, no. <laughs> These sweatpants are right. baggy. We're right. wearing our comfy clothes in the house today. And this is a hoodie that I'm going to decorate and turn it into another mummy jacket. Oh. It's got fleece and it's nice and warm because I am like freezing today. Wow. Chilly. Yeah. All right. Okay. Oh, there's a pony throw and a Hong Kong fooey hanging out over there. Yeah. You know, their house is a little lived in. Okay. Right. So, uh, okay, I think that's your stuff. Yeah, oh, that's all my stuff. This think, is yeah. my stuff. All right, here we go. I can show that. Show us your stuff. All right, so I paid $5.15 for this mm -hmm. Out of Value World, and the brand is Aztec Dinnerware. And it's a whole set of, like, coffee or teacups with the saucers. And uh, for five fifteen, I thought it was worth it because the solds on this brand are anywhere from, like, um... 25 and up from what it looked like and I guess they come in different colors um, and I think it's like a, a melamine melamine like a plastic type Mel of melamine whatever you call it yeah that type of thing and it has like a retro 50s look to it not you Earl the, the plates not Earl now was that all you got from that from the other day no there were other bags I didn't see them Okay, well that's okay. I'll show this other stuff too. Yeah, I love it too. yeah. And then this is oh, what's on there, boogers? Ooh, I hope so. I don't know what that is, but the book is a uh, clothing construction. The author's Mansfield, and this is a Kent State University Library copy. This is from the 1950s, and it's all about um, sewing. So. And putting clothing together, and it looks like the solds on this book are around twenty-five dollars. Um, they wanted three ninety-nine for it, so. Ooh. I paid four bucks for this, and I think I could flip it for twenty-five. Um, this you saw this in the previous video. This is a ginger jar marked Kutani, Bless Kutani you. Japan. I don't ah. know if that shows up on there, but um, I paid four ninety-nine for this, and I think that could go. Um, I'm gonna try for forty or fifty with free shipping. Wow. And I don't normally buy ceramics like that, but it just looked really unique. And I remember hearing Crazy Lamp Lady talk about buying ginger jars. On her YouTube channel. On yeah. the Crazy Lamp Lady's YouTube Not some crazy lamp lady that was running around the store. Yeah. No, the actual some crazy people, lamp lady from Some people YouTube. may not know, even though she has tons of followers and stuff. She's, I'm just saying. She's a celebrity. You never know. Check her out on YouTube. Um, Life magazines from the 1930s paid $2.99 for the bag. Some of these really old magazines are just cool to look through. And some people do take the old advertising, uh, the old... Um, ads out of these to sell 
And right now, I just think I want to look through them. This, these are from 1921, yeah, House were, and Garden. You were really excited when I was like, hey, these are from the 20s. You're like, oh, the 20s? Yeah, yeah, these are really, so these are 100 years old. 1921, that's 100 years that's old. That's at least 100 years ago. How cool is that? And Paper and Moose would like, would like that. Another YouTube. It's working, right? Yeah, it's recording. All right, we're back. Louie has taken over Earl's spot, uh, mm -hmm. monitoring and watching everything. And uh, all right, we all are right. back. So haul video um, with uh, Movie Magic. <laughs> Here's the rest of the haul. Um, these are Steve Madden boots, size eight and a half. I paid seven eighty nine for them. The soles look really good. They just need cleaned up a little bit. They're real leather. Um, when I checked this boot, whatever the name was, I'm trying to remember the name on here. What's it say? It says Tropa, uh, Steve Mann and Tropa. Those are like, those could be $50 boots. So that, wow. yeah, so that's cool. Shoes, oops. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Um, that wasn't my fault. This Yay. was $2.02. Two it looks like a jellyfish glass paperweight mm -hmm. with the little bubbles. I think that's like 50s or 60s. No? Not Do you think it's all. newer? Yeah. It looks old to me. I have one like it, uh, uh, you know, for sale on the, on, e on eBay, and it glows in the dark. Oh, so, so we have to check that. Out maybe this one will glow. Glows. So maybe but we'll... they're they're kind of cool. Yeah. Um, some VHS tape. Ooh. Some VHS. VHS at this um, thrift store were fifty cents a piece. So there's the Howling. Nice get. The Howling there. The um, Lady Hawk. I, I don't know what that movie is. It's a like, like a you know a, a middle uh, ages type of thing, fantasy with uh, Ferris Bueller. Matthew Broderick. Yeah, Ferris Bueller. Matthew Broderick. Okay, Jaws two. Oh my French. Jaws two. I know the horror VHS can be good. Um, PJ Sparkles. Yeah, that was my nickname in high school. PJ Sparkles. I don't remember this, but yeah. I guess it's a cartoon and based yeah. off of some toys. It's from 1992. Yeah. It looked kind of yeah. cute. Um, 98 Degrees. Yeah. <laughs> some pop VHS that's sealed. You wish. And it's um, it's some promotional thing, so it's just like a, a music video on there. Probably something. worth about 10 grand. And probably worth nothing. Probably 10 bucks, but... If that, that'd be nice. Um, okay, this is a chalkware ship. Beg your pardon? A chalkware ship. Yeah, okay, like this time, for real, it's For a real, I said ship. ship. Yeah. And it was 80 cents. And uh, vintage chalkware, some of those do sell online. They're kind of cool. And um, this one has no chips. Has no chips in it. Uh, a ship with no chips. A ship with no chips. Um, what you does say. this say? Lady Apo Hell La Dama... Ram -a, a ding dong So I think this is a museum replica souvenir type of thing. And it looks like a, part of like a, a stone wall. Like Relief. from a... Yeah. yeah, from like a... It's Mayan. From a shrine or something. Maybe Mayan or... Mm -hmm. What's weird about that though, and like I'm looking that. at it... Wait a minute, I can't... I, I can't I don't have my glasses on. Well... Yeah, that does look Mayan, right? Yeah, except for the sort of Greek uh, thing on the bottom. It is. So that's, a, that's like Mayan... Uh, it was but why it, and eighty-one cents, and it looks like one of those like museum replicas, yeah. like a souvenir thing. But so, what what's weird is the uh, the, the motif on the bottom. Yeah, that, that's very Greek, Greco-Romany type of art, like yeah. us, those, that border. But it could be also Aztec. I don't know or Mayan. That's kind of interesting. Well, and it looks like uh, the company was from is uh, Cancun, Mexico. So it must have been a souvenir. souvenir. Yeah, but those but, things are good. I don't it know. I, 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 there's some museum replicas like that that I've sold before that were good. Um, that one I'll have to look up. But it was only a dollar and eighty-one cents. Sorry, I, I capture some Louis moments too for to kind of like you know. Mix, Louis a good boy. Mix things up in the vid video. Hi, Louis. Louis's a good boy. Good boy. All right. What else we got? Okay. Ooh. So um, leggings for me that I can modify for a costume maybe. Nice. Woohoo. Um, a video game, Nintendo DS Puzzler Collection. It's like uh, word puzzles and Sudoku mm. and stuff. I do have uh, a Nintendo, so. Uh, so every now and then I'll play around with that. HP, uh, this is for my computer, a mouse for three bucks. And here's a bag that I'm gonna try to resell. It was $7.99, the brand is Lotus. It's real leather, it looked like it could be good. I wanted to give it a try. They didn't have oh. a lot of nice purses at that 
Savers. That one was from Savers. I thought you said Lotus. It's Lo Lotus. Lotus. L-O-D-I-S. Get a Lotus. <laughs> They, they didn't have a lot. There was um, a bag that looked like it could have been real. It was Chanel, mm -hmm. but it wasn't really Chanel. After looking at it, it looked, um, after looking at it up close, it was a knockoff. Lou. <laughs> Louis just wants to he hang out. He looks good. He's very handsome. He is handsome. Hi, handsome. Toll Blank Paris. This is an asymmetrical bag. Some like Paris brand. When I looked it up, would you pay? Would you pay more for the word that word or that bag? Asymmetrical. <laughs> um, the That's bag. Cool. The bag is five ninety nine. I paid five ninety nine for it, and people have them online for like forty fifty bucks. And it's called an asymmetrical bag. No, it's called. Well, oh. it, it, the design looks asymmetrical, right? It's definitely different. And it's Toblank, Toblank, T O L B L A N C, Toblank, mm -hmm. Paris. Mmm, great so I, coffee. I spent at the Savers, thirty-one oh four. Um, spent at the Value World, maybe twenty bucks. Mm -hmm. So, um, is that all my stuff there? I think that was everything. I think that was everything. Yeah. So there's my haul. Now over to me. Over to James. All right, movie magic. All right, should I just sit here and do it? Sure. I guess I could. Let's just sit there. Um, here's that Doctor Who mug from the, one of the last episodes that I that was still in the car. It's very cold from being in the car. But there's really not much to it. I think that the TARDIS appears in space when the the mug has hot liquid in it. So that's why that blank space field is there. It looks like there's some kind of gunk on there. But yeah, I think it's a color change. Like the, like I said, the uh, the TARDIS will appear in the middle of space there. Um, got some CDs, some media. This is the, the show, what do you know, that used to be on uh, public radio, PB, uh, NPR. Um, but Michael Feldman's What Do You Do? Uh, this is the, I have another one, What Do You Know About Mozart? And I just found the What Do You Know About Chopin? Or Chopin, however you say his name. Chopin. Chopin. Yeah. <laughs> Chopin. That um, there Chopin. Yeah, What Do You Know About Chopin? Uh... <laughs> Linear notes by Michael Feldman. He doesn't talk on this, I don't think. Uh, I, he just might write something like linear notes for. For some reason, it doesn't like focusing up close, so I well, don't I know why. I got linear real nice. Maybe Did it, this, this distance is okay. But anyway, I don't know. The, the, I don't know. They're not really worth it. like ten bucks. But I got. I'll sell the two as a lot. This is um. I, I, media is interesting. I, have, I always have a knack for finding weird stuff. This is a little a CD sampler, an EP by DJ Active. It's called uh, Strictly Beats. This could be like 25, 30 bucks. And I only paid like a dollar, what was that, 101, a dollar and one cent for these things. And this one's really cool. It's a band called, uh, well, a group called Two, Two Girls Alone. Two Girls Alone, and no cups involved with this. <laughs> um, but they're, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a very obscure one, but this, someone has one on sale for $40 on eBay, so. Oh. Um, again, I, I think uh, this could be, I don't know. That woman is a fool. Remember you, child in a bottle. Tell your story. Very, you know, who knows what that is. Um, anyway, but I bought it because it might sell for a decent amount. All right. So this was from the other day, and we went to Value World. Continued. Um, this is a weird sealed CD. It's called VA Rising Suns. It's a compilation disc. Uh, I don't know. Um, it, it, hard to find anything on this, which always intrigues me. And uh, usually discs like this sell because they are bizarre and uh, hard to find. And like one person's looking for it, it'll sell right away. Let me see if I can focus on things yeah. better. Let me try to. I'm um, all my stuff's out of focus. Well, it just, uh, just don't don't get too close. It seems like it focuses on your hands, but not the object. Um, it's strange to me. Uh, this I have no idea, uh, uh, no idea about. Again, I looked it up. I tried to. I found something on it that wasn't on eBay, but it doesn't come up. It's an animated version of uh, Jules Verne's Twenty Thousand Leagues Under the Sea. And sometimes things like this, different versions of popular literature and, and movies, sometimes you know they, they, they you know they, they sell for a good price. Like Janet said, these were fifty cents, so why not plunk it down and throw it in the. Uh, in the offering. Okay, so this is a bag of Cleveland Browns stuffed dogs. Oh, I remember those. These are from uh, Burger King from 1999. Yeah. There it goes right there. And what's nice about these is they still have all their tags. And um, they're not, they might not be worth a ton, but the Cleveland Browns are playing Pittsburgh tonight uh, on, the, on their playoff game there. Uh, wild card, whatever, like, whatever the, the the term is for well, it. Well, and they they've been doing very well. Yeah, these are by Cool Beans, so you know these could sell. You know, someone this is like an instant collection of uh, like Cool Beans, which are like Beanie Babies, uh, Cleveland Browns, uh, you know, little stuffed uh, plush. So that's pretty neat. 
Um, this was four bucks for this whole bag. So I, you know, I, I'm gonna probably try to get 35, 40 bucks for all these guys. Cool. Maybe a little bit more, who knows? Um, here's another CD I got. Couldn't find anything on this. Grover. I, yeah, it's Sesame Street Happy Healthy Kids Station Kit. It doesn't, there was no UPC on this, so this might be something that you, that was given to a center, maybe a, a kid center or something. It's a double, it's a, I think it's a CD, and a, um, this is Mac and PC, so this is like a CD-ROM and then a DVD. So I don't know. It'd be fun. I, you know, this is it is, like an exercise thing, maybe? I, you know, I don't to know. To get kids to get up and Healthy dance. Healthy Habits for Life, Sesame Street Workshop, multi-year content-driven initiative. To, this sounds like oh, something maybe that an was, educational thing that was given away at some sort of um, you know uh, like a health meeting or thing, something, a for, kids event for yeah. you know kids children development or something. Which which means it wasn't for sale. Which means if people collect Sesame Street stuff, this could be something they would like. I don't, I don't think it's worth you know. 50 or 60 bucks, but it might be it just looks cute, you know. But then again, for a dollar, why not? Give Maybe it a shot? someone would want that for their kiddo. More unusual. Now, I did find something that is definitely considered a bolo, and I do always look for this the, this particular thing when I go out. Um, the first thing I look for when, when I go to electronics is I look to see if they have any zip drives by iOmega. These things are just easy sells. They go quick, pretty much. This one is still pretty much wrapped. It still has the Best Buy sticker on it. Look at that. And that could actually make it uh, a little better. It won't focus better. on the sticker. That's okay. It just looked like um, a pink blur. Yeah, I don't know. That but it does be... say Best Buy on there. Yeah, there's no price on it. What, what it sold for 303 initially. is no, what... What it or originally sold for. There's no Best Buy price on it. Oh, like it just Original says Best sticker. Buy without the price. I paid $3.03 for it, yes. Okay. And this thing... there. <laughs> This is a this is a what do you call it a serial port one, so it's not a USB, but it doesn't matter. There is a sold listing that sold recently, the same thing, uh, same unit for eighty nine dollars. Wow. Yeah. So this is probably a good. I'm gonna probably ask a hundred for it. That's great. And then see you know and maybe make an offer to someone at some point for ninety. But yeah. And the last one I sold that was uh, pretty much uh, was given to me for free at a uh, house sale that we went to. We bought some stuff, and then they go, "Hey, do you want?" It was it was a USB one, and they go, "Hey, do you want this?" It was in a box. I'm like, "Yeah, we love." I mean, yeah, you don't want to sell it. They go, oh, "We don't even know what it is. Just take it." Yeah, I think I sold that thing for a hundred bucks, maybe a little more. Wow. But yes, yeah, so these are good. If you ever see these, pick them up. I mean, these are even without the cords, anything. Just get them because people will buy them. Um, and then savers. Let me see. What did I get at savers today? Oh boy, you ask. You can't wait. You're sitting on the edge of your seat. Um. More media. More media because it's really good. I, you know, we, you saw on the video that we took in the store. I kind of already showed these ginger snaps. Um, yeah, this is a movie we should watch because it's about like a, a teen werewolf girls. It's pretty neat. Yeah, uh, I've heard of that movie. I just don't remember actually sitting and watching it's it. It's good. It's a lot of fun. I yeah. heard people liked it. And this one could be a twenty-five, thirty dollar up uh, DVD. It's uh, I thought this was a, a, a show Roswell, but it might be a movie that that. And not the show, because I know there was a TV show, like a WB Roswell. Yeah, looks like some really weird B-movie thing. Yeah, but it's, it's got, what's his name, Kyle McLaughlin from Twin Peaks in it. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, this was a surprisingly, you know, good, uh, um, you know, sale. That, you know, they have some for sale on eBay for, like, between $25 and $35. Cool. I bought this. This is, I probably will just keep this if I can't. I don't think it's worth that much, but um, I did like the show. I didn't finish it up yet, but I would love to start, watch this all over again. Boardwalk Empire. It was done really well with Steve Buscemi. Really, really cool. Uh, we picked this up uh, right at the last minute. Janet and I found a cart of media and movies and stuff, but this is a Rosetta Stone. I learned, I think, learned French. It's uh, Francais. French. French. In English, it's called French. Yeah. In Fran French, in it's French. In French, it's Francais. Parlez-vous français? Oui, oui. No, no. I don't. I wish I did. But I can, Rosetta I can, Stone is very expensive. I can barely to buy French those kiss. online. Yeah, um, you know, I don't know. And what I don't even know if they sell like the actual CD-ROMs anymore. Yeah. It might just be like, online. hey, pay this fee every month, and it's like a downloadable program yeah, or knows. like an app you pay for. So that might be like an older version that someone might want. I thought for four bucks. I mean, yeah, just pick it up because you were trying to look sell. it up, and I'm like, it's Rosetta Stone. Just grab it. I think it'll sell and be fine. Um, yeah. And then bags of toys, like I showed uh, in the earlier video, these weird dinosaurs. Um, this one's really odd. I've never seen this one. And sometimes these dinosaur packs. Uh, it's not even. I don't even think this was a dragon. I think this was probably a really generic. Uh, 
you know, dinosaur packs that that they sometimes they would just like make up beasts and put them in there, which I thought was kind of funny. Like everything else in here is like a pretty much a traditional dinosaur, but there are some um, that I remember buying as a kid. <laughs> they were just like these goofy monsters that they or these dinosaurs. They would like mix up stuff. But there's a bag of those boys. Um, and I'll put him in here. Uh, this is the Tanta Kringle from uh, the Rankin and Bass. I think it was a year without a Santa Claus. Uh, she could probably, and this bag of, of toys was like one ninety nine. There's also a, uh, like a Super Mario I guy. I saw the little Mario but guy. He doesn't have a hat on. He's just got no hat. That's weird. I don't even think he came with the hat because he's got like hair, you know, there's nothing. How would a hat sit on there? Do you know anything about that? Oh, uh, I don't know. That could what be version? a McDonald's toy. Like, I, it could be part of a play set. Yeah, it it's be. really hard to say because yeah. they made so many Mario toys. Yeah. It looks like he's missing something or there should be something oh, in his hand hat. yeah well, well it's maybe the hat toy. and it, again i don't know why it'll focus on our hands but it won't focus on these figures it's very huh. strange is there did i touch something by accident is it set right no it, it does an auto focus thing and it's oh. just not wanting to do it and that's why i haven't been able to do any like jewelry videos because uh, it won't focus on those little details up close it's like a tigger flashlight so i i don't I don't well, know. Well, anyway, I bought, I bought this bag of toys just for the Tanta Kringle finger. I'll clean her up. And uh, she has freakishly long arms. Very, oh, there it goes. Okay. Very weird. But yeah, she could be 15, 20. No. I don't know. Uh, could be could be a twenty dollar just loose toy right here. So not, I think that, that and those sell all the time. I mean, I sold all my Christmas stuff, my rank and best Christmas stuff a while back. There's a thing that you click on this screen that says Servo AF. Mm-hmm. AF. Not a not that kind of AF. Servo AF. I think it's auto focus. Uh, but now it seems to be behaving. Yeah. It's user error. Unuser. <laughs> Oops. And then now it's focusing. Here's some uh, another bag of toys. Uh, this is uh, an alien from the movie Alien or Aliens. Uh, this, yeah, those are cool. Yeah, th I don't know. I I thought I put this back, but I didn't. Well, you know, it's still off. It'll probably sell. I might even have some other stuff I could lot it up with other alien uh, figures. Do a fig figurine and, lot. Yeah, stuff like you that. You have so many like little toys and things. This so. one I didn't. I bought this for the alien figure, but I think I think this is from Jurassic World or something. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Is what that a whale? Is. Nah, it's one of those underwater. You know, oh, dinosaurs. I didn't see the teeth. For the the fins looked like a, a blue whale or something. No, it's a dinosaur. They had all everything, all the little animal toys grouped up by. Uh, it says Toys R Us. Okay, this was probably from a playset then that they had a dinosaur playset. Yeah. Where if it's one I worked on? I don't. Maybe I have to look. Yeah, over. you designed some Toys R Us toys. I did for some playsets they had, but this is one of. I think it was out before I, I worked on the the weird ones. I did anyway. Uh, what else? That's what else? Oh, these little dolly. This one little dolly. Oh, that one's cute. So this is from that. What is that? Shimmer and Shine. Shimmer and Shine. I should know that because I worked with that license when I was at American Greetings. But Shimmer and Shine. I didn't buy it for this. I bought this bag for and not whatever this is. This is a part of her. Maybe. Oh wow. Yeah. So that's like some. Cute... Oh, she. It looks like she was holding these things. Like they're supposed to be, or it just wiggles off. Let me see. I have to look it up. She's cute. But she's got really nice eyelashes. It's got a little Ooh, weight it, to it. It's focusing nicely now. Yeah, it's got a little weight to it, you know. She's really cute. I think it just was something that would sit on a shelf. Yeah. And I wonder if this little... Um, probably some souvenir, like, handmade thing. But the eyes are like little, like, plastic or glass eyes. It's not just painted. It's really neat. It's yeah, a, it's, I don't see any markings on her. Probably not. It might be generic for what it is, but, you know. It's it's really cute, though. I, I've, I had to guess it's like a little souvenir doll, like yeah. a Dolls of the World type of thing. Yeah, I'm sure people will, will probably comment on it and say what it is. I'm or... not sure what country in asia she would be from i'm gonna probably wind up putting a picture of it on on facebook and uh or what is this if on i facebook? had to guess maybe like taiwan or something this this is chinese or do you think that's chinese yeah yeah it, it's the other coloration and, and markings and stuff like that it, it was very chinese uh artwork and you know it's detail. very cute though but you know what do i know you might be, i mean i don't know that's the thing so to find yeah but then i'm i'm thrown by the yeah it's more tibetan like the makeup yeah if you guys are watching this um if you know a lot about the um asian art asian dolls um what they wear please comment. put it in the comments because we're we're not that uh smart she, with that stuff she could hang out with mario but she's she's very pretty Tanta kringle she's a little lopsided what's going on with this thing maybe it's the the base there's a little it looks like she stands on a base or something yeah well anyway well anyway maybe we'll just keep her for now yeah we'll find out because she, she's really she's cute maybe she's like a little 
little good and, luck, though. Oh, another cool thing. This is something you found for me and you brought over. Yes, yeah. I found something really cool for him. This is the home run yeah, that I much. found and ended up um, giving, giving to, to him. Too bad. So this is a Budweiser beer, uh, Budweiser sign. And it has, up. yeah, it takes little like nightlight bulbs and it's vintage, probably 60s, I wouldn't 70s? even know, probably 70s. Uh, it, it looks very 70s. I paid, well, um, he paid twelve ninety nine for it. I yeah. found this. Plus 20% off. At the Savers with the, it was in the furniture aisle, like on top of one of the little tables. Oh. And um, I'm like, that's cool for 13 bucks. And I thought maybe James could clean that up and flip it. Yeah, it needs a lot of cleaned up. It's lost it's, some it's paint. It's really dusty and kind of... Oh, there's a big crack. Oh, shoot. Oh, careful. There's a big crack here, too, it looks like. Yeah, careful. So, it, yeah, it, it needs some TLC, but... And this beer it, beer sh uh, mug should light up when it's it all... It does light up. I did up. test it. Oh, you did? You played yeah, it? Yeah, it does work. Oh, Yeah, okay. it does light up. I tested it. And actually, this is not part of the original sign. Behind here, it, it's there's an embossed plaque that says on drought. On drought. Like, you know, you can... On draft. Well, that's another word for on draft, yeah. but it's D-R-O-U-G-H-T, on, on yes, drought, yes. drought, drought, how do we say it? Drought. But yeah, this, this shouldn't be here. There it is. I'm just going to peel it off because it doesn't belong on there. So someone just so stuck this that This might have been it. in an actual bar and they didn't have it on tap. So they put that Budweiser sign over it, this like sticker, which is not part of the original thing. So I'm not doing anything wrong to it other than... Messing up someone's hard work by there we go. On draught. Look at that. That's what it should this is just yeah, garbage. Probably seventies. But um yeah. Probably seventies. Yeah, That's like cool, I said, it's, and it's got a big crack on the side, like a I big I mean, yeah, it has thing. some cosmetic wear, but it's still But if it's cleaned up, I mean, you know, this is kind of still a cool sign. Now, the one we saw, the comp we saw, uh someone was ask, was asking three hundred and fifty bucks for the same sign. And it was funny because I noticed it's an on I'm like, well, mine says Budweiser on the top, but no no. Then I noticed, oh, it's just a sticker. So, yeah. So I'll clean this up and see what we can get. I mean, again, I mean, if it's rare enough, you know, why not 150 bucks all day, right? I mean, it works. It's as close as you're going to get. If there's not a lot of these out there, again, a lot of this depends on rarity and uh, and uh, desirability. So, we're going to try for that. Cool. Good find, honey. Thank you. Yeah, I'm like, I don't want to mess with that. Yeah. So I'm like, I put I put it in my cart and I saved it for you, thinking that you would want it. Thank you so much. All right, you want you're to do the last? We want to wrap things up. Yeah, we'll wrap things up. So yeah, um, I didn't find as many cool things this time, but it's like bread and butter stuff that I thought um, would be interesting to research and put online. But yeah, nothing that was like, oh my god, I found this thing. No, it wasn't like that. I mean, if I if I had to pick one, probably these old magazines, but that's um, not that great for resale. But it's going to be cool to look through. We'll probably do a video on that, right? Like, yeah, maybe we'll do a video tomorrow of us just looking through these magazines. It could be fun, yeah. So um, thank, Some, yeah. thank you guys for watching. If you haven't done so, please hit like. Please hit subscribe. Click the little bell next to subscribe. That way you get notified when we go live or upload a video. And we're going to upload a video every single day for 2021. Or at least try to. Bye-bye. All right. Are you supposed to? Yeah. <laughs>